how to extrude and do inset for faces. So let's just delete all these. I'll go to add, let's say mesh UV sphere. I'll zoom in. I'll go into edit mode. I'll choose faces here. So I'm just going to choose a couple of faces. I'll uh, left mouse button, left mouse button click on a face, hold shift and left mouse button click the ones I want. So the tool here is extrude region. You could also expand this if, uh, a little further if you want to see it by name, extrude region. And you have options up here by default, it should be normal. Normal means it's going to go perpendicular to the face. So if I pull that out, it will extrude. And then you'll have these options down here when you first do it. If you deselect, you'll lose this option forever. So if you click here, you have extra options and you could say move along the X axis. Oh, well, I press control Z, I lost it. So let me move this again. You can move along the X axis, you can move around the Y and you can move around the Z. So if we press control Z again, another way, instead of moving by normal, you could choose follow scene orientation X, Y, Z. And now it's using the world of the scene. See, you see these axes are now aligned to the scene world. So it's aligned to the same X, I'll first control Z, the same Y and the same, well, that was Z, the same Z axis and the same Y axis as the world. You see they're aligned. If I go to normals along the normal of the face or along, along the world, aligned to the world. You have some, some other options. If you left click and hold extrude, you could say there's a couple of other, other ones. You could say along normal, which we have right here. Let's say extrude individual. What will happen with that? They'll extrude individually like this. Instead of if I left click and hold, go back to region, they'll move as one like that. There's also, if I go to extrude to cursor, wherever I click my cursor, it will extrude that way, which could be pretty cool in that sense. If you want to go around pretty easily like this. I'll press Control Z to undo all these. And I'll just move this left click and hold it back to region to the default. In fact, actually, I'll go back to select mode, deselect it. If I choose, I'm still in edit mode, uh, faces. If I left click and hold shift and left click uh, mouse button, bunch of faces. One way you could extrude if you could press Control Alt E, and then you have this menu to choose what you want to extrude along with faces, along the normals, individual, same option, same type of options. So that's Alt E, um, or you could just press E, and you'll start extruding without the manipulator there. One thing though, when you do it this way, if you press E and extrude. If you, while it's still in this mode, if, to stop it, you have to move your mouse and then press left mouse button click to stop it, to end the operation like that. I'll undo. I'll press E again. And if I move it, if I press the right mouse button instead, it looks like it stopped. However, it did extrude except that the distance is zero. So. If I take the move tool and I move it, you'll see that actually extruded and you can move it this way afterwards. The thing is about this is that this could be dangerous. If let me undo this. This could be dangerous because I could take. Let's say um, these press E, move it, then I press right click and then deselect and it looks like, OK, well, I didn't. Uh, or maybe you press it by accident, you press E, it's easy to press E on your keyboard by accident. And when you deselect and go back to object mode, it looks normal. However, if you go back to edit mode, face, they select one of these faces I, I created. It actually is, um, extruded here. 
Hold on, if I select a bunch of these, you see there's actually an extrusion here. Whereas if I were to left select these, these actually move the face. So this could be an issue. So we have to be careful to get rid of it. If you want to find how, which ones, uh, one way to get around this actually is, let's say you could go to vertices and then you could do select all or press A, select every vertex, and then you could press go to mesh, merge by distance. Um, this is in the vertex mode, or you could press M, but I'll do mesh, merge by distance, and you choose a really small distance. What will happen is any vertices that are on top of each other and within this really, really small distance, they'll merge it together. So all the faces will just collapse. So that's if you ever get into trouble and that's one way to get rid of it. So now if I were to try to remove these, I think these, these were the ones, um, you'll see that they should be merged into the face. The other, uh, other tool I want to show is the inset tool, which you see inset faces here. So let me just go to select, I'll select a few by holding shift and then left mouse button clicking a few faces. If I choose inset faces, you'll get this circle. So you have to hover the cursor over the circle, left click and hold. And what it will do is create a face cut in on the inside like that. Once you have that, and then you have, you know, these options in here, like thickness of it. You could adjust it afterwards. The depth, if you want to go in and out yourself. Um, but once that's done, you could al also go back to the move. And move, uh, well, actually it went away. So inset faces, go in here. And I'll click out so it's actually commits to that. And with the same, with a lot of the tools, I go back to face, go to select, shift, hold, hold shift and left click mouse button to multi-select these. I go to insert, for insert faces or I can just collapse them. You, if you hover over it, you have the name as well. You have insert faces. And if I drag in, or you can drag, can't really drag out, but if you drag in, you could choose individual and instead, and it'll try to do it individually instead of, uh, instead of um, all combined, though you'd always get great results. Uh, or you could try it, do individual, and the next time, well, actually just visually, you could, didn't see it, but you could see they did it individually once you commit to that. Now there's also, there's options on the top as well, instead of uh, waiting for it to, well, instead of waiting for you to commit and see the option down here, let's say I go around and select these faces as an example. I'll go back to select mode, L left, mouse button click. I'll choose inset faces. Again, if you could pull, pull these out to see it, if you go to the edge, I click that. Again, you have to click the circle, but instead of taking this and pulling in, I'll press Control Z to undo. I'll turn on outset. And now if I pull out, pull well, you can still pull in, but in this way it goes the opposite direction. And I'll create that. I could press Control Z and I could turn on individual as well. And it will try to well, it doesn't seem to do the offset uh, outset. It doesn't go in the opposite direction in this case. So it just does multi either multiple insets. Or control Z. If I turn on the individual, um, or if I try to have it off, then it goes all as one. And if again, if I put on outset and pull it in, it goes the opposite direction. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.